Oh, I'm okay, mate. I've got my um, I've got no hat on, so I know there's a lot of people paying interest in my barnet. Um, so as you can see, the old hair's coming through. The new stuff ain't moved a fucking inch, um, and um, I've still got a red line. But I didn't get it done in Turkey, um, and for those slagging it off, when I look like fucking cross between Kenny Sansom and Don King in about two months, yeah, they'll be asking me where I got it done, which was Maidstone actually. But apart from that, mate, I actually forgot my hat, so I'm about to explain that. Fantastic. I'm back, mate. Okay. Matt brilliant. Howlett. Yeah, back in the room. Um, last on the list of interviewers. <laughs> Scraping the barrel, Channel 5 presenter. Thanks for that, Mark. Yeah. So, um, quick recap uh, Wanderers vit victorious with a 3 1 win under the lights at Meadow Bank on Tuesday night, which is becoming a big, bit of a theme. Yeah. Tuesday night victories. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I hope we've got this incredible record of not not being beaten since um, 2019 at home. But now we've latched onto that, it, it becomes more of an albatross, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, good win, uh, brilliant crowd uh, down there, really getting behind the boys. Yeah. Um, hope that um, you know we're, we're now gonna start packing that Metabank out every single game, makes a big difference. Back-to-back um, -back wins for the first time, obviously, this season. Um, yeah, really pleased. Yeah, really good start to the game on Tuesday night. Yeah. Really, really put them under the and under, under pressure yeah. early in the game. Yeah, I think that's obviously what we're we've had to but a shit start to the season, so we've had to um since I've been back in the dugout, we've we've had to, you know, be a little bit more cautious and build sort of performances and results from the back. Um but we wanted to be more well, back to normal aggression really Saturday. And we we, uh, we want to bring much of the same tomorrow. Really, we don't want to piss about and um, too much. We want to really bring the heat and, and, and in front of our fans and put Ro Roch down under an awful lot of pressure. Mm, definitely, definitely. So um, moving on, uh, you've had one session since Tuesday. How how's the squad looking with lots of well, games coming? Yeah, in this is it, mate. Tough spell. I think it's going to test every team, not just us, isn't it? So. Um, Tony Cray is going to be a doubt. I think that's reasonable to say. Uh, Luke Moore and Barry Fuller are both out. Um, apart from that, yeah, the boys that have been around it are going to be around it again. It'll just be a little bit of tweaks here and there, bespoke to who we're playing. Um, and yeah, which, you know, it's obviously a few, get a few results, lift the mood in the camp, lift the confidence maybe. But obviously, we're pretty confident at home always. We, we beat some seriously big clubs down there last year, Knox County and the likes and we had some great days. Uh, Rochdale obviously um, had a good start to the season um, and um, you know, played good football and they'll be a force to be reckoned with, some great individuals and look like they're really well coached. But um, we don't really care about that to be quite frank, do we? So no, we're I mean going to uh, bring the heat and, and Disrupt them. Yeah, I mean they they had uh, time in League One, came down from League Two last season, so. Uh, yeah, and, and I think it's important. Like these, you know, we're we're just privileged to entertain um, clubs like Rochdale with such a legacy in football and um, National League. I know initially the, these clubs, their fans seem to go, Jesus Christ, where's Dorkin? But uh, the, the the National League could be quite a good haven for clubs to kind of turn fortunes around and, and re reset themselves. We've seen that in recent years, so uh, we're just privileged to, to welcome a club like Rochdale to, to Dorking. Um, obviously, clubs with two different histories. I'd imagine when they're in League One, we, um, we're in like, some park league somewhere. But tomorrow, mate, we're in the same league, and that's what matters. Yeah, no, they're bringing uh, quite a large following down tomorrow. Yeah, uh, which we appreciate. Um, so we want to pack... Meadow Bank out, yeah. as many home fans down as That's possible. That's it, mate. We want as many, many home fans as possible. Um, and um, I know the ticket sales have done really well for this one and we're expecting to be yes. really busy tomorrow. So um, get behind the boys like I know they will. Yeah, get down early, get your tickets and um, cheer the boys on. That's it, mate. Okay, get yourselves well, a Meadow Bank. Well, good luck tomorrow, Cheers, Mark. Mate. And um, we'll catch up again next week. Cheers, mate.